work Take and we time. find it. Take your time. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ivy and I post weekly videos about all things art and my life. This week I'm going to be going behind the scenes with you on creating this campaign video. If you're excited to see all the bloopers, please give this video a thumbs up and we'll jump right into it. I came up with the concept for this video a really long time ago when I was planning the photo shoot for my Constellation pin series with my friend Etsuko and I just haven't had the time to do it yet. But finally, at the end of 2020, I made this video a reality. I wanted a video that can showcase all of my pin designs on a variety of looks to show how my products work for all styles and occasions. For my last lookbook video where I showcased just my floral pin series, I hired a team of videographers to work with me. For that one, I did the styling and some of the planning in collaboration with the team. If you're interested in seeing that video or the behind the scenes of the planning process, I'll leave the links in the description so you can check it out. This time I decided to partner up with my photographer friend Etsuko again because I really love the way she does portraits and I love how fun and easy it is to work with her. Maybe because we've already worked together so many times before but everything always feels so seamless with our collaborations. I had a very clear idea of what I wanted for this video shoot so I volunteered myself to do the editing portion of this project. This way, Etsuko can focus on capturing all the shots and retouching all the photos. Originally, I was going to try to save money by modeling for this shoot myself, but then as I was planning the shoot with my friend Etsuko, I saw on her Facebook page that she had recently done a photo shoot with Carson. And I loved his look so much. Not to mention that our hair colors were the same at that time, and I just thought, Oh my gosh, I need him for the shoot! And it just so happens that the makeup artist and hairstylist that was on this particular shoot for him were also the hairstylist and makeup artist that I've been eyeing for a really long time. And I just really wanted them to be a part of my project. Luckily, since I was editing the video portions of this project myself, and since Etsuko was giving me such a great deal for this project, on account of us being friends for so many years, I suddenly had the extra funds I needed to hire an extra model, Yay! a hairstylist, and a makeup artist. So ah, it's really a dream come true. Thank you so much for making this happen, Etsuko. I couldn't have done this without you. And so with that being said, I got to put together my dream team. There's Etsuko, my favorite photographer. Carson, who honestly looks like he could be my next best friend. Wendy and Patrick, who I've been secretly loving for so long. And also Michael, Etsuko's husband and my longtime friend who helped out so much with setup, camera settings, and everything. I honestly could not have asked for a more perfect team of people to work with. And while I really did choose Carson just based on those two photos that I saw of him initially, it turns out that he is so freaking cool and so talented. I later on found out that he is actually not only a model, but also an actor and also a musician. Um, he has the absolute coolest music videos, so if you've never seen his videos before, please go check that out. They're so mind-blowingly creative. I'm so in love with everything he does. Anyway, now that I had two people in my shoot, there was so much more I needed to plan in terms of styling and outfits. I narrowed it down to four looks, a cute and sweet look, <laughs> a fun and hipster look, <laughs> a classy okay. business look, oh, okay. That's okay. an edgy look, yeah, my closet is all black. And a dressy party look. <laughs> From there, I did a bunch of sketches to see what kind of outfits we should wear, where I should be putting the pins on the outfits, how we should appear in each of the shots, and how all of the transitions are going to take place. To get everyone on the same page, I put together a Pinterest board full of the ideas that align with my vision, 
And I also created a PDF with some of the inspo and a list of all the shots that we were going to do so that everyone had an idea of how the day was going to turn out. It was a little bit ambitious since we were doing four looks for two people and we were shooting both video and photo on the same day which meant we had to switch back and forth between different setups constantly and everyone had to work quickly so that we could finish everything all in one day. But we made it happen! It was so amazing having such a great team to work with. Everyone came together on the day of with such great ideas to share for the shoot and everything just aligned perfectly. It was really great having Wendy and Patrick on set all day because apart from creating the most perfect looks for us, they also helped me and Carson retouch our hair and makeup during the whole shoot, making sure that every shot looked absolutely perfect. I really loved how even though this is a campaign for my brand, everyone was able to showcase their own work and creativity. The collaborative aspect made it so much fun. I think the most difficult thing that day was the bubblegum blowing scenes. It's actually really cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was even better. <laughs> Originally, it was supposed to be lollipops, but for some reason I couldn't find any, so we decided to go with bubblegum. And it was so, 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 so hard to blow a good bubble in front of camera and continue to pose. But we had so much fun with it. The most memorable look though had to be the party one. Because everyone helped me out with blowing up the balloons, I was doing the pumping while Wendy held them together and Patrick helped us tie them up. In the meantime, Carson and Etsuko were doing their shots. Once the balloons were all ready, we changed up our looks for the final scene and we ended up waving balloons in the background to get them in frame. So while the shot looked beautiful like this, there were actually two of us in the back waving the balloons around and laughing our heads off the whole time. It was also really funny when we were trying to attempt all these jumping scenes. <laughs> Somehow it was just so hard to jump together. But I think the funnest thing that day was really getting to know everyone. Learning where everyone was from, what they've been working on, and just hearing about their lives. As an adult who works from home, I feel like it's so rare to meet new people. And of course, in this case, such talented people with so much personality. Not to mention it was in the midst of, you know, everything that's been going on in our world these days. I really do feel so lucky that we were still able to work together on this project and meet under these circumstances. In the beginning, I thought I might have to delay my shoot because of all the new regulations, but turns out it was still okay for all of us to work together under the set guidelines. Wait, I need to put it actually on or else it will be like... So while we were able to shoot all of the portrait shots all in one day, we did have to set aside a separate day for the flat lace because I had wanted the pins to pop up after each portrait shot, but we didn't need the whole team there for that. So Etsuko and I met up on a separate day and we had a very chill time just putting these shots together. We used these poster tacks to hold up the pins and this was something that I learned from my shoot with Velour and I'm just going to use this all the time now because this makes it so easy to prop up the pins and they're also reusable. During this time, Etsuko and I got to catch up and it was so nice because we haven't seen each other all year. I really love hanging out with Michael and Etsuko. They're just so much fun to talk to. I love that the three of us are all creatives, so it makes it really fun to talk about our goals and dreams. I actually met Etsuko through her husband. I've been friends with Michael for about 10 years now and we were actually in a band together. Um, he was the bassist and I was the drummer, and he would write all of the songs that our band would play. And right now what he does is he creates music and sound effects for movie trailers, which is just so cool, right? He did the movie trailer soundtrack for Togo, and I was just completely blown away by that. I was really hoping that we would find some way for the three of us to collaborate again on something this year, but I haven't really figured out what that might be yet. Something to do with 
you know, photography, art, and music all together. But、um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Anyway, that was a long tangent. I'm so glad that this idea finally came to fruition after so many years of daydreaming about it. I couldn't have made it happen without all the great members of this team. I'll make sure to leave everyone's social media handles in the description below.、Um, so make sure you go show them some love. And if you haven't seen the video yet, please go check it out. We worked so hard on it. And I really do think it was exactly everything that I had dreamed of. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Instead of jumping right back into my mini hair series next week, I think I will be putting together a mini birthday vlog because my birthday is coming up on Monday. It's really been a while since me and Kevin have gone out and did anything. And just really did anything, I guess. Kevin and I have a fun date planned, and we haven't been out in forever, so I really do think it's gonna be quite special. I'd really love it if you could join us for my birthday celebration, so make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of that. Leave this video a like to support this channel. I hope you guys all have a very great weekend. I'll see you all next week.